Hello everyone, Sam is from myfirstmagicweb.com. Um, this video I'm making as a weekly recap. I said in my last video that I'm going to make it um, in a few hours, but uh, I got busy, you know, Saturday, family matters and all that. So now I'm making it. Uh, so I'm going to be showing all the trades, including pound or whatever, you know, so uh, taking all this. Uh, it was a pretty good week. Uh, last week was only five or six trades. But this one uh, uh, pretty so let's get started pound usd 20 minute on february 2nd um, so the february 1st there was nothing right because last week was uh bad and then over the weekend nothing happened but for february 1st things you know this, this few news came out and then the market start moving so the uh, pound usd 20 minute february uh, 2nd february uh, and i'll show you you will notice that some of these uh, pound pairs early in the week you will see all down, 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 short, all of those pound pairs. But then the later half of the week, you will see all pound pairs. I have long, long, long. And then I'll show you the reason for that. And maybe this video at the end of it, or uh, maybe the last, uh, or the next video. But uh, second, yeah, uh, February, this is the first one. Then for 55 pip. And then you have pound newsy, like I said, you know, you're gonna see all short. So pound USD short on the same day. Um, uh, from here, uh, that's 95 pip. This this pair is monster. So you know it moves a little bit and then give you a lot of pippage. Now here's Euro uh, Newsy, second February again. This is also 110 pip. Very nice you know, start of the week. And then Euro Aussie third, the next day, third February third is 55 pip from the seven minute chart. Sell entry here and break even, you know, SL move to break even. Then pound cat, again, like I said, that, you know, pound uh, cup first couple of days, you will see all pound pair short side. So pound cat short as well from seven minutes for 75 pip. And then you see pound Aussie, right? Sell order here. And it went down all the way. The, uh, on, it, this is on the third. Uh, actually, it was closed the entry was on the third but it closed on the, well i had the date is wrong um i i closed it on fourth actually but the entry was on the third so that's why but actually this uh, um kind of like uh e, the entry was here and it was on the fourth so probably my mistake uh date wise but that's how it is pound aussie on seven minute chart uh all the way down uh, and let me see here, then Euro Aussie on the seven minute on the fourth, again, short. Euro Aussie, uh, I made a video yesterday, so you know what the heck happened with this pair. Uh, and then on the fourth, again, pound USD was down here. And then this was an entry, but like my SL got hit on the third. And then on the fourth, another entry here and 55 pip to the downside. And then on the fourth, tide changes. And uh, at the end of the fourth, uh, the, you know, pound pairs start to go up. And uh, there was a reason for that. So uh, here, pound franc, you see to the upside, right? A 90 pip. There's a buy order here. It's a, a move to break even. Then you see pound Aussie again on the fourth. Entry was here and start to go up. Right? This was the end of the, uh, Here, this is a news. That news came out. Remember I talked about it in my last video? So boom, boom, boom here, and the news came out and pound start getting strong. Now all pound pair will be going to the upside. So this one and then pound cad, you see it, it did the same thing and went up above the wave. Beautiful uh, long setup here, buy order here, 70 pip all the way. And this is on the fourth. And then you see Euro Yen bouncing from the beautiful TL here. And there was a level, but I forgot to put it here. Um, but you know, the, the TL, the pivot and Nice and clean, move to the upside from 20 minute chart, 50 pip here. Um, almost like 14 trades uh, this week. And then on the fifth, Euro Aussie, you can see this 20 minute to the downside. That's the final uh, for this pair uh, for my target around 56.82. And I showed that uh, already, explained that in my last video yesterday. And here pound USD finally, seven minute also, beautiful uh, move to the upside, drop, here uh, into the wave and then gave me the entry here and then came down a little bit and after that gone for 70 pip. So these are the trades, almost uh, 14 trades. 
uh, you know, four, five or six SL hit as, as well, which is sometimes break even, sometimes, you know, five to 10 pip, something like that. So they are insignificant, insignificant, uh, you know, and then uh, <clears throat> when I'm right, uh, you know, you can see how many pips and all depend on the daily range of the thing. A daily range means, let me just quickly show you that each pair has a daily range. Ah, each pair has a daily range. For example, this is what this pair is uh, for uh, Aussie yen, right? So Aussie yen, no, no, no. Uh, I have to um, uh, change, okay, sorry. Uh, okay, now you can see it, right? So Aussie yen, right? And uh, if you put uh, this indicator on it, uh, where the heck it go? Right here. Oh, right here. And you will see that it, it tells me that this uh, current day range is 87 pip. Previous day range is only 35 pip and every 60 day range is 59 pip. Now, that means that in 24 hours, this pair only more 59 pip from top to bottom, right? Now, that's why you don't see any trade, me taking this, any trade on this pair. Yeah, I make these charts and then I send out to my subscriber because different people want to, you know, see different things. So I decide, you know, all 20 pairs, just, just make the charts, the weekly chart, the 40 minute chart and give it to my subscribers uh, for, you know, if they want to trade, they're, you know, most, they're more than welcome, right? But I do not trade these pairs because the daily range is pathetic. And uh, uh, compared to this, uh, if you go and take a look at this, for example, pound newsy daily range, right? And uh, here's the pair. And uh, if we go and then take a look at the daily range on this one, uh, uh, and you notice that this pair's daily range is 157. So 100 pip more than uh, Aussie yen, right? That means that this pair in 24 hour average, last 60 day average, it moved 157 pip in within 24 hour. That is a big move, right? So you have more chance to make a, a trade for maybe 100, 120, 130 pip. If you you know find an entry early now previous day range the previous day he, he posted 250 pip move and current day means last friday even friday is always slow right but it moved 133 pip right so compared to those slow movers um you know 45 pip 50 pip so you you don't get to uh, uh, get a, a nice big trend from those pairs so you have to choose the pairs wisely and then you have to have a system to get in early. And even if you get in late, you need to know that how far you are already traveled into the daily range and how much pip are left. So that's why you see sometimes I'm holding a trade for 100 or more than 100 pip and sometimes I'm closing a 40 or 50 pip. And that is the reason because the, you know, my entry in such a way that uh, the daily range is about to finish. So I cannot uh, hold beyond the daily range because it's gonna retrace on me, right? So it's better to close and run whatever you have. So this is how it is. And um, uh, uh, one more time, I'm gonna go over with all those, where the heck they go? The trades. And this is, um, like I said, Euro, uh, yeah, Euro, Euro USD here. The, on the fifth, I had three like last Friday. And then on the fourth, a lot of them, four or five nice trades. Pound pairs, all pound pairs, right? And some uh, euro pairs, right? So these are the trades. And every single trade is, you can see here, my sell order or buy order, or whatever. And, uh, you know, SL break to, uh, uh, you know, uh, move to break even, safely, sound, and, uh, you know, the, the target hitting, right? So, like, for example, this one. Now you can see that this uh, setup, uh, this you know system gave me this setup and this setup, then this setup. So even if you miss one of these setup, then you can always uh, you know find another one and then give. Now regular time uh, candlestick formation, you know Japanese candlestick formation. You have uh, candle based on time. Every five minutes you will have a new candle, and then you have a lot of candle and. Some are big, some are small, some doji, some, you know, big wick to the upside. So, so very confusing. This, these candles are not based on time. 
they are based on brick size means amount of pip. If the price don't move a certain amount of pip, the, the next sender would not print and they are all equal size. So uh, the movements are much, much uh, clear and tradable. And if you put them into the system, you see the setup is again and coming the you know, same setup again and again and again and again. And it looks like same. So it becomes very easy to trade. Take the, take the entries according to the rules. I have four rules for the entries. Once they are all met, like for example here, all four rules are met, all four rules are met. Here the same, say the same. Right, so um, that's how the system works. So if you uh, like what you saw, you wanna be a part of it today, Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, get it. And uh, by the way, the, uh, well, the price have gone up from 67 to 97, but if uh, you can go on, on my website, right? So if you're interested, I'm gonna um, have, uh, I'm gonna sign up for new people maybe next few more days for still 67, but you have to email me then I can send out a, a link for $67 instead of 97. But right now on the website, you will go and then you will find the button only for $97 a month, right? So uh, I'm making this video Saturday, maybe next Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, whoever signs up uh, and send me an email, uh, I will uh, you know, send you the link for 67, okay? So this is it for now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful rest of the weekend.